my ridiculous warm weather playground equipment. This coat's so big I can't I can't get the this coat's so big I can't get my best thing over it. It's not just really sticking in my pocket like this. I've been sneezing. I've been sneezing all day. We have two days of school this week, two days before Christmas break. It is Monday, 2.28 in the afternoon. Snowed a lot this weekend, supposed to get some more snow. About to go out on the playground. The sun is shining. I'm happy about that. One more day before Christmas break. Went for a swim. Went for a sauna. Used the blower to spray some paint around on a piece of paper. Has it always been two weeks? Did someone just make it up at some point? Is it because of New Year's? Is it because of Christmas? What is the reason that it's two weeks? I'm gonna do some research and get back to you and maybe try to figure out exactly where that comes from. Interesting, maybe. I'm curious. We'll find some stuff out. All right, I just found some really cool information about winter break and what it used to be like because Christmas wasn't a, an observed holiday until 1870. So I'm just gonna read a little bit through what I found out. Um, the, the first American schools were very different from modern school. Instead of a principal, each school had a schoolmaster. Well, the schoolmaster wanted the school to be open as much as possible because he could be paid through the times of year like Christmas and vacations and things like that. But this old tradition they used to have was called barring out the schoolmaster. I'd never heard of this before. In the middle of the night, the students would go to the school. Students then broke into the school and secured it. The next morning, the schoolmaster would go to open the doors. The students would announce that they had taken the school hostage and they wouldn't leave unless the schoolmaster agreed to a vacation, usually between eight and 10 days long. Often the students taunted the schoolmaster by singing a song first recorded in the United States around 1702, but it's from an English custom. So this is kind of the history of where winter break comes from. School used to be in session longer, um, but most schools in most countries do take time off for this time of year to celebrate different holidays and things like that. There was something else that I saw Oh, traditionally, people would also do the reverse, like serve their servants. And um, that's also a, a custom from the English that everything used to be reversed. So students would teach the teachers, servants would be served by the, the, the people who hired them, things like that. Christmas break, holiday break. It is the it is 7:45, 7:45 ish in the morning, 7:46 in the morning. Week we did some more detailed drawing work, some detailed uh, drawings of a lion with a pencil. 